Hello and welcome to chapter 2. Today we're going to talk about what user interface to use while generating your images or video because there are a lot of options to choose from ranging from simple to use interfaces to more advanced ones to really specialist tools. So let's check them out. First up, we have Automatic 1111. It's probably the most popular user interface because it has almost all the tools available and it's fairly easy to get started with. However, it can be a little difficult to master. So the skill ceiling is very high, but it's easy to get started with it. It's also one of the most recommended user interfaces because like I said earlier, you can do a lot with it. And there are a lot of guides out there on the internet specifically on Automatic 1111. In this guide, we're gonna use Automatic 1111 as our base. And if you're just starting out, I can wholeheartedly recommend Automatic 1111 to start off with. You're gonna have all the popular extensions at your disposal. So if you want control in Stable Diffusion, try Automatic 1111. If you want something super simple to use, I would recommend Focus or one of the variants. Focus is all about ease of use and is more similar to Dolly and Midjourney in how you just get a box for prompting and whatever you input is gonna get a great looking image. You do still get a lot more advanced options than Midjourney and Dolly. So it's a superior choice in that sense, but you're not gonna get all the control that you get in Automatic 1111 or Comfy UI, for example. I personally use Focus a lot because of how quick and easy it is to use. And sometimes I don't need all of the control in Automatic 1111. Feel free to test multiple user interfaces. You don't need to use only one. I use multiple depending on what I want to achieve. So I wholeheartedly recommend focus as well because it's just so easy to learn and easy to get great looking images. Next up we got Comfy UI and it has gained popularity lately because of the ability to copy and paste workflow from one user to another or one computer to another. Basically it's a node based system where you take little nodes and connect them together with strings or little lines. So if you use node based applications before, this could be a good fit for you. It's probably the hardest to learn, but it's also very easy to copy paste a complicated workflow from another user. Some people find this user interface very fun and it's very flexible to work with once you get to know it. Just bear in mind, can be a little hard to understand at first. But don't fret, there are a lot of guides out there. If you want some more tips and tricks of how to use Comfy UI, check out some of Thinkfusion guides on it. Now, if you're looking for a tool that has spent more time on user interface and the user experience than just trying to get the new tech as fast in as possible, then your best bet is probably Invoke. Invoke has a beautiful user interface and the developers are working on stability and user experience as their main priorities. It's more similar to your regular photo editing softwares, so you'll feel a little bit more at home. They also have this great feature called a canvas where you can outpaint or expand your image through generative AI and it's a super simple and intuitive process. If you're a user that prefers to get what you see instead of working with the tech, then well, try out Invoke. It might be the user interface for you. The last interface we're going to touch upon in this guide is Koya. Now, Koya is great if you want to train your own models. Let's say, for example, that you want to train a model on your face or a style or something similar. So it's for the real trailblazers out there. If you really want to push the boundaries of generative AI, it's like having your own AI bootcamp where you teach the AI what to do. You could train it on a pixel art style, you could train it on an oil painting style, or if you're an artist or illustrator yourself, input your own images and make a checkpoint or model, Laura for that matter, with your own style. So if you really wanna push generative AI to its boundaries, check out Koya. But like I said previously, you don't have to pick just one, test them out, see what works for you and what you like to do in your generative AI art journey. 